I am sexy as hell as a big man, and I deserve, as a fat person, to be the sexiest man alive on People Magazine. What's up, guys? Leslie Robbins here. Young Hollywood is in New York City. We are taking you backstage at the Tony Award-winning show, Memphis. Gentlemen, I saw the show. James, why'd you call me? But because you called me. How come no one's calling me? I called me for. Because you butt called me. I didn't butt call you. you I always did. Hold up. Hold on. This. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What you mean butt call? First you, of all, you put in your pocket and your butt dialed me. My, I don't put my phone in my butt. You What's put your up? phone in your butt. That's nasty. That's real nasty. I'm, I'm sorry. Like, what, what, I'm what sorry. Was you gonna say? Hi. Hi. Hey. How you doing? Hi. What's going on? I want y'all to call me because you guys are hysterical. Derek. Well, as long as you put your phone in your butt, we will call you. It's in my butt. You it's done. It done. <laughs> Gentlemen, I saw the show and it was such a good time, but I think I'm having a better time hanging out in the dressing room with you three. So all three of you have been with the show since the beginning. Yeah. Very beginning. Talk about that. Wow. Um, man, uh, we st we started this uh, journey in North Shore Musical Theater in Beverly, Massachusetts. We always, it, it, it seemed like from the beginning, it was always like, oh, Broadway bound, Broadway bound, you know. But, you know, now we're actually here. I don't know if I would want to have it any other way. It, it tried to. Yes. But yes. Uh, <laughs> it, it, did, it didn't. It didn't work out well. I want to talk about that. It didn't work out well. That's for the next segment. Exactly. Yeah. Fast forward. It's the next segment. Tell me that story. Oh, <laughs> well, let me tell you. Man. I love that last segment though. That was a really good last segment. Yeah. Butt dialing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because we don't really want to talk about the show, do we? No. Yeah. I want to actually mention to you. I read somewhere that you said you wanted to be People Magazine's. Sexiest man alive without the abs. Yes. I want to be the first uh, heavy set sexiest man alive on People magazine because um, these two brothers represent what Hollywood boys look like. I represent what the average person looks like. Um, uh, the average person who eats uh, a Big Mac and fries and things like that. So I feel that um, there's a cute teddy bear sexiness about me that would work on People Magazine. Oh, you know, I think it works. <laughs> give me a break. Give me a I break. Feel, I, I feel, I feel. <laughs> I mean, I feel that I'm just a, a teddy bear inside. Can, the, can the real James Monroe Eichelhardt please, please stand up? I am sexy as hell as a big man, and I deserve, as a fat person, to be the sexiest man alive on People Magazine. Tweet that, Facebook that. It's going to happen before the year of 2020. Check it. I'm saying it now here on Young Hollywood. Bam. He won't be young anymore. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> by the time we finish, by the time we get to that year, we're like, and here we are on old Hollywood talking to the sexiest man alive. <laughs> talking about booty juice. I mean, uh, no, but, but dial it. <laughs> Woo! That's a whole different section. Segment number four. Segment four. Well, speaking of being sexy and yes. like the hottest man around. Pretty much, yes. Your wife, we'll play a little trivia. Your wife is a molecular biologist. Exactly. And you, my friend, have yes. a BA yes. in biology. So really, when, when Memphis closes, and if, God forbid, you can't find work in the theater, you would go to biology? Well, if I couldn't find work in the theater, I would move to film and television first. Yeah. And, and then if that didn't work, I would probably be dead. No. <laughs> I always thought of Derek, I was as, as a recording artist, I was yeah, too, yeah, so. I love to make a record, two OB records. And model. I would absolutely Ooh, give it Let's look at let's your hands. About that. Really Can we get a close up of the hands? <laughs> Can you see this? I'm telling you right now, I wake up and the hands look like this. It looks like I've been to a, a nail salon. I haven't. My cuticles are. <laughs> <laughs> look at compare. This is a comparison. <laughs> the gatekeeper. Old right there. <laughs> That's old Hollywood. This is young. <laughs> Those old Hollywood hands. Okay, gentlemen, we are now on the stage at the Schubert Theater. I actually yes, we are. feel honored. Can you show me around? Of course. Here is where our band plays all the amazing music of Memphis. If you look back here, you can kind of see all of the rest of the band. And uh, once the second act opens, these doors open up and our band comes out and literally rolls out on stage 
Is it a well-oiled machine at this point? Absolutely well-oiled machine. I mean, this it's like clockwork every single night. It's wonderful. Any mishaps, ever? Yes. Talk about <laughs> <laughs> Our show is run on automation, and which means the computer runs it. So our stage manager calls the cues, and the computer runs the, you know. But like with all computers, like if you're a computer at home, something may crash. And when the computer crashes, that's when the set decides to do its own thing. We have a scene where um, our, our wonderful leading lady, Montego Glover, is Felicia. This comes out, and she's singing a song. Well, the computer glitched, and this door did not open. So this door opened, and this one didn't. And when this thing rolled out, this crashed into the door. And But our dan our dancers are on it. So as she's coming forward, screaming her head off, the dancer catches her, takes her off stage. Our stage manager gets on us and says, ladies and gentlemen, we have a technical difficulty, like they couldn't see it. <laughs> and uh, we close the curtain, and then literally within 15 minutes, they took the door off, they got it together, Montego was getting herself together, and we went right back on with the same song, everything, boom. And the audience just lost it, they what? went crazy. <laughs> Right here are uh, two microphones and uh, a monitor so uh, that we have uh, our ensemble sings songs here to basically help us on stage. And the fun part is uh, we our cast is broken up into uh, Beale Street and Main Street. And Beale Street is the black cast and uh, Main Street is the white cast. And we have some of the most sanginous white folks on Broadway. And they sit back here and they sing their faces off while we're out there. And it's so funny with some of the riffs you hear are not coming from us because we're dancing our butt off and we are tired. Yeah. So some of those great riffs you're hearing from white folks back here. But they don't get any credit because they back here. It's a black and white thing in this in this in this it, theater. It, it, it really is. It really is. But we love them and it's been great. It's our our, our cast is like a we family. We love white people though. We love, we love white people. White people are good. We love black people. Is it? Hey, see, it, it I don't works think out. I can ever say that on camera ever again. <laughs> right. We should say it again. I love white people. I love black people. See, it works. It works. What, there's a little wow. question. There's a I question can't mark. I'm saying that on That's camera. Great. I think it works though. No. Can I we think, hug it out? Yeah, I think more TV okay, shows too. Everybody should hug. Go ahead, go ahead. Oh, So it's like, here we are on Young Hollywood, coming back, didn't think that we really could. It's the Memphis on Broadway, New York City. You's about to see something that's so pretty. So when you see the show, you will have to know that you are going to see a really badass show. So you can see it if it's even on tour. But if you make it to New York, you're going to love it even more. So see all the things that you got to really understand. I can't nobody rock it like the Memphis band. So when you see it, who does it beat? It's Jay Bernard. Derek, and then it's me, it's the James Eichel Hall. Here we are, Broadway. That's the way we do it, Young Hollywood. Hey. <laughs>